Hails low. Hello. What's hello? I'm not sure where that came from. That's to the low low. How low? Because right now the temperatures are high, <laughs> high. It is pretty hot. Uh, 94 here in Ohio. But it feels like 104. Oh, if it's hot as hails. It is hot as hails, no doubt about <laughs> it. Because we officially are on vacation, mm -hmm. and because it is hot as hails outside, we haven't really done any videoing, and it's probably best anyway because we've been so incredibly busy up every day, every night. As a matter of fact, I don't even think we left the camper till 2.30 today. Yeah, we Something waited like for that. the sun to go down to be Maureen less says it's brutally hot. 98 degrees in Brooklyn. Woo! Yeah, we went, we- Speaking of 98 degrees, Nick LaHaye. Nick LaHaye. <laughs> A lot of people think he looks like the lead singer from 98 Degrees. Nick LaShay. Nick LaShay, but we call him. You and your girlfriend. Me and my girlfriends call, call him, him Nick LaHaye. LaHaye. <laughs> so good afternoon to you, Carlton Anderson, as well. And there's Melissa W. Melissa. Hills low. All right, so we're going to have a little bit of fun. We are at the Alive What's concert. up, Justin? The Alive concert is the largest Christian concert in the world. So last night we phenomenal, phenomenal concert by For King and Country. Just yeah. absolutely incredible. King and Country isn't country. No, not at all. <laughs> not, they are not percussion, 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 Heavy. percussion, percussion. Yeah. And I uh, absolutely love it. You can feel the drums actually resonate through your entire body. Uh -huh. And tonight is Lecrae, which is Christian rap, and then also is Skillet, which is harder metal. Tomorrow night is Crowder, which I can't wait for Crowder. And Holland is actually playing right now, so we're missing Holland. But That's we decided two days in a row we missed Holland. Yeah, that is. But you know, Holland is under uh, Toby Mac's label, Goatee Records. So uh, if you know Toby Mac at all, which is one of my favorites, love Toby Mac, which I've turned one you of on. My, to, yeah. yeah, I've turned the you very on to Toby first, Mac as well. The very first concert him and I ever went to was a Christian concert, and, and Toby Mac was the. That was the, he was the lead. He was the he was the, the lead uh, concert. So and I fell in love. I immediately fell in love with his music. I didn't think I was gonna like it. And Jeremy's like, "What do you think I was gonna take you to church?" <laughs> yeah, she thought we were going to church to sing hymns, and she didn't and know gospel we, we were going to rock out. So Ready Cool loves Toby Mac as well. He's All pretty right. awesome. Uh, da, 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 da. David <laughs> wants to know if you're gonna quit quit storage units and just sell my hoodie. Not yet. Not, <laughs> Not yet. yet. You ready to have some fun Let's with do it. Uh, with random trivia? Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's the deal. We are going to ask a question, and well, I'm going to ask a question, and I'm going to see if I can trump George. Okay. It, or not trump George, but stump George, <laughs> which may be the both. And hopefully, she doesn't bust a toenail off by tripping over the question. Good afternoon to you as well, Pamela. I'll be able to phone a friend and reach out to our subscribers, though, if I if I get stuck. So, of course. Uh, so she needs your help as well. Indian Creek, yes. Online storage units are extremely <laughs> high right now. Kid Alexander says it's a known fact that women are a lot smarter than men. Well, that, that's a given that George is smarter than me. She's more beautiful than me. She's smarter than me, shorter than me, Much more Egyptian smarter. than me, uh, knows how to handle knives and swords better than me. <laughs> So she's gonna need your help. I am all gonna need your help. 200 of you right now. Yeah. Are you ready for the first question? I'm George? ready for the first okay. question. Random, useless trivia. Here we go. So, what is the average memory, or excuse me, what the hails is the average memory of a goldfish? Would it be A, three seconds? Would it be B, five seconds? Would it be C, seven seconds? Or would it be D, what Bacardum just said, two seconds? A, B, or C or D? I'm going to go with... David just said A. I'm going to go with... Point says B. Michelle says A. Clay I'm going to go with... D. Here's C, oh. A. Deborah just said five seconds. Carlton says five. Monica says C. Face says D. <laughs> wow, A C A, A D D A A K says D. 
I'm gonna Boy, say. Boy, you're getting a lot of friends five, here. Help, help. Was five seconds? Five seconds? Uh, five seconds would have been B. Which? Oh wait, wait, kid, kid is going with uh, oh, Luna is going with D. So did I get it right? No, absolutely not. That wasn't correct. Nobody got it right. In fact, they can actually recall previous learned information up to five months. That wasn't so even an answer. that was a answer. trick question. No, that was just a sample question. No. <laughs> that was a sample question. Sounded like a trick question to me. More because... like an Egyptian conniption question. That was the sample question, okay? Yeah, so see, kid, kid got it right. Kid's He's answer a trick says, question. yeah, trick question. Okay, so really, that was just a sample for everybody, but now we're all in there. Uh, so now we know where we're going with useless trivia, okay? Uh... All right. Where the <laughs> hails is it illegal to catch mice without a hunting license? Where Whoa. in the hails is it illegal to catch mice without a hunting license? Would it be A, Texas, where Grimes Fines is from? Would it be B, California, where Storage Auction Pirate is from? Would it be C, Virginia, where treasure hunting with Jeebus is from, or would it be D, Ohio, where what the hails is from? So where the hails is it illegal to catch mice without an official hunting license? That's crazy. Oh, uh, we just got Cleveland. I'm going to go D. with. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to represent. I'm going to represent. Palms from God said C. Adam K said D. Uh, Ali, Ali, James. Uncle Mike said C. Uncle Mike is on here too. Uh, Adrian, uh, Big John said V. Who said V? <laughs> Big John did. <laughs> For Virginia, maybe? That very I'm well gonna could be. I'm going to Dragon. I'm going to say Reddy, Reddy Cole, Cole says Cleveland, K. Ohio. Smith. I'm going to go with Ohio because we're from Ohio. OH! IO is 100%. I'm sorry, George. Correct. Yes. If you guessed Ohio, <laughs> it is illegal to catch mice in Ohio without an official hunting license. Did you know that? Uh, obviously, before I just this? gave the question and the answer. How <laughs> but could did I, you know this before this? How the hells could you doubt me, George? <laughs> just because I don't have my glasses on right now doesn't mean I'm still not the professor. So then you should be arrested. <laughs> okay, well, potentially, maybe I should be arrested because one of the things we get nonstop in the camper is... <laughs> Mice. A lot of lawbreakers here on Mice. the chat. Greg, lawbreaker. Who else breaks the law without a, a, a mice hunting license? <laughs> okay. What the hails is a group of cows known as? Okay. So when you get a group of cows together, we're not we're not we're we're talking like out in the field. Remember one of the videos that we're gonna do, and we're not gonna go cow tipping. We're gonna go cow standing. Yeah, that's one of the videos we want to do. <laughs> Look, they're all saying heifers, herds. <laughs> okay, I haven't cattle. I haven't even given the options yet. All right, a would it be a herd, a herd of cows? B Indian Creek Walker said sows. Would it be B <laughs> a a group of sows? Would it be C, would it be Wendy's, because that's where we're at right now, and they got the, they got the beef, right? Yeah. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Where's that's, the beef? That's Arby's. Oh, we wait, wait. They, they have the, meat. the meats. Yeah. Dr. Flippett just sent $2, <laughs> said herd. Thank you, Dr. Flippett. Or would it be D? <laughs> David said my exes. <laughs> Oh my, oh my goodness, did that just happen? <laughs> David, you're too much. David, we want to know where your exes are hanging out and Carlton why there are so many. So it's called Dinner on the Hoof. Dinner on the Hoof. <laughs> or is it D, is it called a murder? I'm going to go with A. Wait, 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 wait. I just, we, we haven't even seen, you need help from your friends. I get by with a little help from my friends. Majority says. They're all saying heard, 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 heard. Oh, wait, wait. Cindy says D. And we are back off of this cruddy <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi connection. Oh, sales were good at the warehouse this weekend. Nice. We did have a, a huge warehouse sale 
this from our weekend. manager. Yep. Okay. So our warehouse manager just texted saying that we had great sales this weekend. Got a lot of A's, a lot of B's, a lot of C's, a lot of D's. What are you going to go with? Wow. So right now it's either between A or D. And if you're hungry, then I would go with D. Are you cheating? <laughs> because it is called I'm a going murder. Off of, I'm just going off of what our what our what the chat's saying. Okay, well the chat the chat is definitely they're geniuses. Mm -hmm. uh, a group of cows is called a murder. Don't believe it? Go ahead and Google. To the YouTube Hales family, I'm getting texts from the warehouse manager. So uh, if you hear those things coming in, that's from Tammy. All right, George. Miss Tammy. George and all of our viewership, we've got 290 plus people on here right now. Whoa. How, let me, let me rephrase this so it, it'll help you. <laughs> how but the context hails, says crows, not cows. <laughs> how, <laughs> how the hails, actually he's right, it's crows, not cows. You're so right. you I, misread I, it? I, I misread it. Okay, so a group of crows is actually called a murder. Rick sent $2 so says all it's of a you, herd, same here as England. All right, all of you that actually Ooh. said the cows is a is a, another trick question. It's crows is called a murder. All right, uh, how the hail's old is the oldest piece of chewing gum. How the hail's old is the oldest piece of chewing gum. Ooh. Is it... A, 9,000 years old. B, seven years old, still in your stomach, just like your mom told you, the old wives' tale that swallow a piece of gum, it'll be in it'll, your stomach yeah, for seven years. Yeah, it'll take you seven years, years to, to digest. digest. <laughs> huh? Seven years old. Would it be C, uh, 14 years old, because there's two pieces down there and they combine together for forces and then they're still <laughs> rattling around inside and they're still not digested, even after colon cleansing, or would it be D, 47 years old? Let's see what they have to say. All right. Uh, David Jones says Survey W. says. David Jones says W. I'm not quite sure where we're going with W. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh, we've got our Big John says D. Uh, Indian Creek Walker, 9,000 years old, ancient Stone Age natives whose article whose articles I hunt tree sap. Wow, that was very specific. That's awesome. Uh, Evanville said D, Arlen, B, Lisa Rogers, hi all. No, not an option, but hails back to you. Hey, Mrs. Lockernut. Uh, Mrs. Lockernut said, happy Saturday. How the hails is it going? Absolutely incredible Good. at the Alive Festival. Look at my thumb. Look at like my I thumb. try and give a thumbs up. My thumb just goes straight. It doesn't. It doesn't curve. Like Everything on me curves. <laughs> so you got a straight thumb. <laughs> Mine and... just goes straight. It looks weird. So Clay says it's A, Kelly says D. All right, what's your official answer? I'm gonna go with D. D? Yes. 47 years old, like Nicole Smith, Nicola Smith said. <clears throat> the answer is, what was D? 9,000, I think. No, A was 9,000. I'm No, A was 19,000 or something like no, that. No, A was 9,000. If you said a you absolutely are correct that wasn't even a trick question like the murder of crows d was 47 years old yes that's right see see uh movie whiz girl says woot. can we give a woot, woot? so what is nine thousand woot, woot. nine thousand don't you remember indian creek river it gave like the expansive <laughs> Uh, Jamie Riddle says, hey, George, you're a very beautiful lady. Jeremy, you're a lucky man. Put a ring on her finger. Put a ring there on. is a he ring, put a on, ring her on her finger. His finger. Right there. There's a ring. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, good witch hunting said, and Jeremy would chew it if he found it. <laughs> yeah. No, I would. I'd chew that thing like hails. All right. So we have this thing called a fortune cookie. Okay. Actually, last night when we were at the, the concert, you're like, something smells so good. I did. Good. I smelled noodles. And, like I, and Asian then noodles. I said, and I said, and I was like, I was going to go fart it. <laughs> and she's like, ha, 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 She's like, I smell Chinese food. And I'm like, goes all fart it. <laughs> and so uh, with Chinese food, Asian food, you get this thing called the fortune cookie, right? Mm -hmm. Where the hails was the fortune cookie actually created? Is it... A, China, is it B, Italy, 
they're known for their fine cuisines. Would it be C? <laughs> Uh, you got enough rings from the $8,000 storage unit. You got your pick, Jeremy. <laughs> All right. Was it C, the Netherlands, or would it be... Nicola said she's supposed to be working. <laughs> D, would it be America? America. I'm going to go... Rhymes Fine says Italy. I'm going to go... Goodrich Hunting says C, Japan, even though that wasn't the, the one, one of the, for C. One of the yeah. options. Yeah. Wait, Christopher Pritt says D, and Indian Creek Walker says it's like pizza, which, by the way, remember what I told you when I ate pizza in Italy, what did it taste like? Like cardboard. Like cardboard. Pizza in Italy is, think of a saltine, burnt saltine with just tomato paste and then parsley put on it. Uh, pizza did not originate in Italy, and I'm up on the mountaintop eating this junk, and it was horrible. I'm going to go with Nana Chick 05 and what she said. What did she say? America. <laughs> exactly, you are correct. It was yes, you America. guys are awesome. America it was. <laughs> so the fortune cookie was actually originated in America. Okay, even though most people think it was China, that was one of the things that one of our claims to fame. Mm -hmm. What is Egypt famous for? Pyramids. Pyramids. All right. They're known for their pyramids. And Georges. <laughs> Lots of Georges. There are plenty of Georges that have come out of Egypt. Okay. So. Mummies, you, falafel, sand. That's true, too. What's a falafel? <laughs> falafel? Yeah. It's like um, pureed lentil beans. My mom makes it with lentil beans. Some people What's make a lentil it with. Bean? Some people make it with chickpea, like pureed chickpeas and then you deep fry it. What's a chickpea? You know what a chickpea is. I know you're Do you know chick. what hummus is made out of? Hummus is made out of pureed chickpeas. I'm not sure I even want to know. I can't even pronounce that word. <laughs> but I can hum. Egypt is known for their large-headed aliens, someone said. Oh, well, that too. Yeah, that too. Sand. Lots of sand. All right. We're going to discuss now an animal that is known for something. Which animal... Okay. Kills more people in a yearly basis than plane crashes. Would it be A, ducks, when you go down to the duck pond and you feed them and they attack you and everybody's like, ah, running the geese away. Geese or the ducks? Well, geese we're gonna, are vicious. Geese and ducks are going to Those actually Canadian be a geese? Part in there. Oh my gosh. So, They're not very nice. So, Canadian geese with American geese and American ducks. We're gonna group them all together. Okay. So would it be A, the ducks down at the pond when you go to feed them bread? Mm -hmm. Would it be C? Chicken bones. <laughs> <laughs> Rick says chicken bones. Would it be chicken C? Bones. They haven't caught it yet because I haven't said B yet. Okay. I'm seeing now if they're gonna catch it because I said C instead of B. Um, would it be, I don't think they've caught it yet. Would it be B, mosquitoes with the West Nile virus? Oh, wow. Oh, did somebody just, say, yeah, somebody just, Sandy mosquitoes. just said that, mosquitoes. I've seen two people answer mosquitoes so far. Okay. Would it be C, a camel from Egypt, particularly the Egyptian camels? <laughs> or would it be D, the stubborn donkey? Come on, donka! Oh, gosh. Help me out, guys. Good Witch Hunting says all of the above. Mosquito, sharks. Someone said sharks. Shark week is over, What are guys? skeeters? Shark Someone week is skeeters. over. Like, is that another worm for mosquito? Some skeeters? Yeah, that would be, definitely, that would be. You use C two times. Somebody caught on. B, mosquitoes. Jim Hardy, yes. Pythons. Turtle Trader said pythons from Florida. Yeah. Mosquitoes are insects as well, so somebody wanted to make sure that we, we got that. A mosquito with a shark with a machine gun drives <laughs> fine. That I'm would definitely go with... do it. That would do it. Yeah. No doubt I'm about gonna it. I'm going to go with mosquitoes. Mosquitoes? Well, according to Google, the answer would be, you are wrong. Yeah. She's completely and totally wrong because the answer, according to Google, would be D 
Kieran O'Neill says ex girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> it's D, which could be an ex girlfriend. Donkeys. Donkeys, so, really? So the answer is donkeys. Interesting. Donkeys, a lot of people answered hippos, which, which I would think would hippos be hippos are very pretty aggressive. Accurate. Yeah. From my time uh, spending teaching children in outdoor education, hippos are. You know, I could tell you a few things about hippos, and um, they're extremely aggressive and territorial. But there's mosquito scorpion hybrids. You ever see that? I have not. I did tell you about the time that I that I killed the poisonous snake up in Canada on one of my wilderness <laughs> trips with my. Someone's singing. With my, Donna, Donna, what are you singing? With, with my there's wilderness trip. There's a skeeter on my Peter. Paid it off. <laughs> Something about there's a skeeter on my Peter. <laughs> I'm Maybe. probably singing it a, wrong. Um, this is a family show. All right. It's, it's rated G. All right. The Empire State <laughs> Building. The Empire State Building. How many... You ready for this? Poems for God says coyotes won't enter a field if a donkey is in because it. Because they're so territorial. Yeah, wow. That's true. You get a donkey to keep the coyotes away from the rest of the animals. Okay. So Empire State Building, how the hell's many bricks were used and composed for the building of the <laughs> Empire State Building? Yeah, I can't I'm believe she just... I'm not a very good just, singer, Justin. I can't believe she just sang it either, Justin. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that part out later. You can't edit it out. It's. I can always edit it's it out. Hot. All right, so uh, how the hell's many bricks were used in the composition of the Empire State Building? So Jamie Riddle says a bunch. Uh, Lax237 says 10. All right, Mo says over 1,000. So here are your options, okay? Bad back 60, I think. Uh, None, it's made of concrete. So. I think he's right. So are you, is that what you want to go with? You're not even going to give. let me give you the option? No. You are 100% fist pump. Fist pump. Turkey. <laughs> wrong again. She's wrong. <laughs> it was 10 million bricks. Oh, someone answered that right. Uh, million, Diane, Diane Lindell did. Lindell. Diane Lindell did. 10 million bricks. Someone so said it's not Susan bricks, it's stone. Not, it wasn't a trick question Susan. this time. This time it wasn't a trick trick question. Someone said it was made of donkey. William Thomas <laughs> said, a hails of a lot. 10 million. 10 million. Welcome to useless trivia. <laughs> what the hails did you expect? All right. All right. How the hails many eggs does a female mackerel lay at a time you know what a mackerel is right mm -hmm. what's a mackerel mm -hmm. she just she just <laughs> i asked do you know what a mackerel is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what's a mackerel mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i think we might be stumping her on this one anybody want to help her with what a mackerel is it's a fish movie whiz girl just told you it's a fish okay so uh, we got quite a few people on here telling you it is a fish, so mackerel is mm -hmm. a fish. I knew that. <laughs> Why didn't you answer it that way the first time? <laughs> so how many, how the hell's many eggs does a female mackerel lay at a time? Would it be A, one? Would it be B, two? Would it be C, three? Or would it be D, Five hundred thousand. A couple people answered D. What? Five hundred thousand. Do you think they're Googling these as I'm asking them? I hope so. So BC2000 said 500,000 multiple times. Uh, Good oh. Witch Hunting wants to know how much moolah was in that five gallon jug of coins. We don't know yet. We haven't cashed it yet. We, we still have to it. sort through it. Hopefully this week we'll cash it in, but yeah. it's taking so much time. Because we want to look for ridiculous. any collector's coins, any of the... All right, so we got DDD, five, 500,000 DDD. Yeah, Holy a lot of people cow. are answering D. Majority of survey says... Uh, do you think they're Googling this? I'm going to go with D. If they are, I don't care. You're <laughs> they're absolutely... Helping, they're helping a sister out. Absolutely. Pound it. Leaf. Correct this time. <laughs> Not are they only helping you out there. Donna says they're, too many. They're just giving you downright all the answers. So yes, it Karen is. Karen says Defo Googled. Who's Googling? That's okay. Are they all Googling? You guys are allowed to Google. I'm not allowed, but you're in, you're totally allowed to Google. Okay. 
There's no way they're going to get this one. There's no way they're going to get this. Yes, one. they are. Our viewers are very smart. I don't. I don't doubt how smart they are, but I don't think they can Google fast <laughs> Rick enough. Rick says, on this "Thanks, one. Google." <laughs> okay, how the hails long is a baby kangaroo when it's born? How the hails long is a baby kangaroo a when it's born? You should know because you have a Joey. You I had do have a, a Joey. Joey. Uh, your Joey is 20 years old now. So would it be <laughs> a one inch? Would it be B, five inches, would it be C, no inches, because they're not born, they just appear out of nowhere from the stork, would it be D, 10 inches, A, B, C, or D? Look at this. Carol Reed says, little itty bitty. Uh, BC 2000 said two centimeters, which wasn't an option. Although yeah, that, that that's could, really little, you know, that is little, that is little. And we weren't using the metric system, but, and we do know we have viewers all over the world. Uh, we have over 300 on here right now. <laughs> uh, we've got Ali says B, Vicky says A. I'm we've got a lot go, of two centimeters. Yeah. Renee Faith 702 says, missed the question. How the hails long is a baby kangaroo when it's born a joey is it one centimeter which was a is it two centimeters which was b which is it c no centimeters because it was delivered, it's by, the delivered by the stork or is it d 10 centimeters uh Wow, look oh, at that. That's this. a hard one. And we're getting we're getting mixed answers in the chat. Gone fishing bait shop says D. Uh so Rick said, says hold on, hold Google's, on. Google's not responding. Not responding. <laughs> spin, 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 spin. Uh traveling treasure hunter John says, I'd say I'd C. See. Yeah, yeah, Storks that makes sense. still exist, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Mrs. Lockernut says everybody smash that like button. Uh Vicky says you said inches to begin with. Yes, we sure did. Um, yeah, you went from inches to centimeters. I know they went to centimeters. I might have screwed up. Well, you can Maybe watch it you later. Did. We'll have to edit that part out if I, <laughs> if I screwed up. There's so much editing to do. All right, let's go with two, which is B, which is which was B, which is nice job, pound it. Was that Snail. right? <laughs> Was that right? Absolutely not. The answer is one inch long. Wow. Baby kangaroo, one inch long. Don't you remember watching the nature shows and the little baby Joey goes crawling down into mom's pouch? Mm -mm. And it's like... Bleh, 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 bleh. And it's like a little snail. No. No? You never saw that? No. We'll have to get Can't that video I for have. you. Can't say I have. We'll have to get that video for you. Okay. <laughs> Recovered says two inch, one inch equals two centimeters. <laughs> it could. It could. All right. This one is not multiple choice. This one is you're just going to have to phone your friends here. Is this the last question? On, no, it's not. But you're just going to have to phone your friends here on the live stream. Okay. I'm if, relying on you, chat. If a cat is known as a feline, and a dog is known as a canine, what would a bear be known as? See where I'm going with this? Cat, feline, dog, canine, what would a bear be known as? You got answers coming yeah, up here. We, I think Troy is right. Troy says cub. Uh, BC2000 <laughs> says wildlife. Carol Reed says Monet. Uh, Rick Hughes says bear one. John, treasure hunter with John said fuzzy e. wuzzy. Goodwitch says fuzzy Burn, wuzzy. Bernie. Bernie. Emily Bernie. Bill said eh. <laughs> Bernie. Bernie. Bear force one. Behind as you run. <laughs> Yogi. Yogi boop boop. Yogo boop boop. Frankie boo. Stanton. Nice. Nice. So cat feline, dog canine. What would a bear be known as? Mm -hmm. Do you see any of the answers in there that you like? Yeah, Storage Pirate got it right. Who's storage pirate? Ricardo. He said what? Cubline. Cubline! <laughs> Is that your final answer? Someone said NFL team. <laughs> There's bear line, bee line, bee line. Winnie. <laughs> 
a bear nine dangerous mammal dangerous. swine smoky that was good <laughs> grizzly okay so your answer is a beeline beeline nice job is that nice correct job turkey again <laughs> absolutely that was, not think See what, see what Mason Holder said right there? Our viewers are amazing. What did, what did Mason Holder say? Earth sign? That would be the correct answer right there. That's what a bear would be. Yeah? Yep. All right. This one is going to be... Grimes oh, Grimes has got it. Yeah. All right. This is going to be your true or false. All right. We've all heard of the Great Wall of China. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's been movies about it and all kinds of documentaries. The Great Wall of China is one of the man-made objects that can actually be seen from the moon. Hails yes or hails no? Can the Great Wall of China be seen from the moon? Horror Chiller said yes. Storage Pirates, true. Mary Def Deal. Flippin', Flippin Adventure, Adventure said hails, hails no. no. Uh, <laughs> Valerie, let's see, Judy Pear, maybe, maybe isn't an option. We're still on Smokey the Bear with Chris H. Mm -hmm. Uh, Granny Doe says true. Dennis Price says, hey, no. Cheryl says, yes. Um, wow. Nope. Ke Kelly says, no. A lot of people are saying no. Majority of the chat right now is saying no. Mark Sauter just Zero said hails yes. says on a clear day. Well, I think you should probably take weather into consideration, don't mm -hmm. you? I am going to go with the majority of the chat. Grimes Five says lamp. <laughs> huh. He says lamp. Okay. I'm going to go with majority of the chat, which is no. The answer is... Hales no. Okay, so you're going with Hales no? <laughs> Absolutely correct, chat. Great job. Yes, there are no man-made objects that can be seen from the moon <laughs> with the naked eye. Okay? Now, telescope be a whole different story. Hales of a different story, but we're talking about with the naked eye. All right. You ready for your next question? What happened to Hoodie, someone asked. Hoodie is still up for auction, mm -hmm. and you want to tell them where Hoodie is at currently? Yeah, Hoodie is back at Jeremy's place. We didn't bring him with us. Um, and then Sunday... It's like Sunday, Hoodie has a personality we were gonna, all of its own. The auction was going to end Sunday at 7 p.m. It still ends Sunday at 7 p.m. But we're trying to go live sooner before 9, because we, there's a band that he wants to see. True. So we're, we can't go at our regular time of 9 o'clock on Sunday, so we're going to... We're going to go live early this Sunday, not at our regular 9 o'clock standard Eastern time. Make sure you keep a watch at um, on a community page, and we'll announce when we're actually going to do that. Okay. All right, I got another question for you, okay? Yes. This is a hails yes or a hails no, and you cannot attempt to do this while I ask the question. Okay. Is it possible for you to <laughs> lick your elbow? Hails yes or hails no? I've tried this Is many, it many times. Physically possible for a human to lick their elbow? Hails yes or hails no? I way before I even met Jeremy, I was asked to do this on a dare, and I'm gonna go with hails. To the no-no, <laughs> it's physically impossible to lick your elbow. This part right here is called a weenus. To lick Maybe this weenus. is a family show. <laughs> Watch your mouth. That's the technical term. All right, well, I have a follow-up question for you. How many of you actually tried to lick your elbow after I asked George <laughs> that question? That was a trick question. Another thing that you can't physically do is bite your ear. Bite your ear? Bite your ear. Oh, okay. Go ahead and try and bite your ear. Um, no, I just wanted to see if they would actually try and lick their elbows. Someone and said if you're double jointed, you can. With that if being you're said, jointed. we got a pretty huge <laughs> concert to get to. Remember, we will be going live to answer all of your questions. 
tomorrow we will announce on our Facebook page and in the community tab what time we'll be doing that because right now we don't know because we haven't looked at the schedule. It's been such a crazy <laughs> weekend and we needed some time off, but we wanted to come and have a little bit of fun with you going live. Yes. With all that being said, anything else you want to share, George? As of right now, no. Just stay tuned to see what time we'll go live on Sunday and then what the final winning bid would be for Hoodie. For Hoodie. And those who want to know how much money is in the coin jar, we do not know yet. We're so still sorting. So stay tuned for that. Do you want to know if we found the family member for the actual military trunk? We have struck out everywhere mm -hmm. so far. But still stay tuned because we're not giving up yet. With all that being said, we'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks Have for a hanging out, guys. of a weekend. Love you all. Mwah.